Hello everyone. In today's session, we're going to discuss about the Cucumber BDD Framework Concepts Part 2. I hope you had seen the Part 1 session. If not, please watch that video and come back to the session. I'm just going to walk you through the different uh, Gherkin primary keywords. So these primary keywords are very important to learn before we jump into automation coding part. Let's learn what is Gherkin, why do we need a feature file, how do we define a feature, how can we define different scenarios inside a feature, why do we need steps and the usage of step definition and the objective of uh, background. Let's talk about scenario outline and examples. Let's get started right away. So Gherkin is nothing but the simple English representation of the application behavior. Basically, it helps to understand the business use cases in simple English. I mean, we create the business use cases in simple plain English so that everyone can understand. I mean, the business stakeholders, the product owners, the developers, the quality engineers, everyone. It also helps to understand the business use case coverage as well. Moving on to feature file. It defines an high-level description of a test. The first line of the feature always starts with the keyword feature and the feature file contains both the feature name as well as the description. The description part here is an optional field. The feature file extension would be dot feature. And about the feature, it is an high-level description about the test. It consists of different test scenarios altogether. I just wanted to map these concepts with the real use case so that I'll make you understand better. Let's move on to the next slide. As I stated earlier, we have defined the business use cases in the plain English. And this is a feature file, login.feature. And this is a feature name, source demo login verification. And we have this description as well. It's an optional field, but I would recommend everyone to provide this uh, the description so that it helps to understand what this particular feature is all about and at regression result right it is called as a tag we'll discuss about this tag in the upcoming video i've defined two different scenarios here one is to log in with the correct username and password and another one is to log in with incorrect username and password here we have defined different steps inside this particular scenario let's talk about this scenario and the steps in the next slide I hope it is very clear that we talked about uh, Gherkin and the feature file, this login down feature file and the feature. Let's move on to next slide. Scenario with steps. So as I stated earlier, right? So you, you could see here that different steps are being placed inside this particular scenario. Login with correct username and password, right? So given it defines the context of the text to be executed. So in order to perform this particular test scenario right the user has to perform some different sequence of steps so users are supposed to land on this source demo page and when he lands on the particular page right he has to perform some actions so that action will be carried out inside this particular step when so it defines a test action that has to be performed and once he does that action right there could be many number of steps, right? So in order to add uh, different steps, we use and conditions here. User clicks on login button. Once he clicks on that particular login button, when he logs out, what happens? At the end, right, we have this uh, then step. Then step takes the expected outcome of the test. Once he performs that logout action, right? So the user has to take back, taken back on source demo page. Ideal case, user should not be redirected to error page. So that sort of a condition which is not expected can be mentioned inside this particular step. But so that's about this uh, different steps given when, then, and, and, but. So that's covers about scenario with steps. Let's move on. So this is the feature file structure. So this feature particular feature right login dot feature this consists of diff two different scenarios so you can have uh, n number of scenarios as a best practice any feature file can contain only 10 scenarios it depends upon the organization they might use uh, five scenarios or eight scenarios or seven scenarios it depends upon the project and depends upon the team as well let's move on to next slide so far we have learned about the business use cases right so we haven't written any coding logic. So in order, 
in order to have the coding implementation that will be defined inside a step definition we basically write our uh, code logic inside this particular file step definition based on the steps that are defined in the feature file so it, it contains the actual code to execute the test scenario in the feature file don't worry we are going to discuss about this in detail and the background it is a single step or it contains a series of steps that are common to all the tests in the feature file it is like a prerequisite and in about the uh, scenario outline right so if i want to run the same scenario with multiple sets of data in that scenario we'll go for scenario outline and it can also be called as scenario template and the data will be provided by a tabular structure with the help of pipe symbol and the scenario outlines have to be followed with the example section and this contains a test data that passes on to the test scenario let's relate these uh, concepts with a different use case i'll show you so in this slide we're going to discuss about background and feature file and step definition background is nothing but a prerequisite so that we can we can define this uh, particular uh, a scenario like this login with correct username and password so given when and so whatever things that we have defined inside a scenario right the same thing can be defined inside a background as well so that should be common for all the test cases so that's about background i'll show you the mapping between feature file and the step definition login dot feature is a feature file we have written two different steps here given and when for these steps right we'll have to define the actual coding part so those coding steps will be written inside this particular login page.java that is it is written inside this step definition file for every step we are supposed to write the actual code logic so that's about uh, feature file and the step definition mapping a project if you have uh, different sets of feature file and we are supposed to write a different sets of step definitions as well based on the steps that are defined in the feature file i hope this is clear let's move on to the next slide let's talk about uh, scenario outline mapping with a uh, step definition if i want to run a particular test scenario with the different sets of data for example if i want to log in with the different uh, username and password combinations i can do this with the help of scenario outline and the examples combination okay so this is the syntax uh, examples it can be separated by a pipe uh, symbol if you can see this particular step right uh, when user provides a username and password so here that has been mapped to the step definition okay here we have used a, a regular expression in order to fetch this particular username and password so this is how we fetch the data from the feature file and pass us into the steps in test ng right if you need to pass the data from excel into our test we are supposed to use uh, file input stream object arrays and then we'll have to use a data provider here we don't need to use anything so the cucumber takes care of itself and we are supposed to have a scenario outline with examples so that the data will be directly passed into our step definitions so that's about a scenario outline mapping with the step definition with this we have come to the end of the session in the next video we are going to discuss about uh, different topics doc strings data table test runner tax parameterization regular expression hooks, attributes, reports, cooking, but tool combinations, other BDT tools. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell icon for the instant notifications. So these are all my playlists, right? Uh, Xpath, CC Selector, Cheat Sheets, JUnit, TestNG, Selenium. So if you want to learn anything, right, uh, so about the Selenium framework creation, you can go to this particular type playlist and you can learn whatever that you want to learn. Okay. I am planning to cover both the technical and non-technical topics so where you could see the details about the mutual fund, the capital gain tax, everything. Thanks again. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.